Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today we're gonna go on a Patty's Polish Corner tour. Um, I'm gonna show you my new setup um, from the last, I mean I did like uh, my filming thing a while back when I was filming in my bathroom. <laughs> Um, but since then, I have cleaned out the desk as my uh, polish station, and I want to share that with you guys. So if you are interested, then let's get started. Okay, so basically, this is my polish setup. The desk here was a huge junk collector for... A lot of years and I really actually wasn't even using it because I I didn't do anything here just piled junk on there um, it's not like I come home and do anything besides maybe nail art <laughs> so basically you know I don't sit at the computer or anything like that so I decided to change this into my polish station and I probably gave you guys a heads up of that a while back but now it's like really close to being finished so I just kind of wanted to take you through it a little bit and how I organize my my things here so we'll get the boring office stuff out of the way so I still have office files um, in this drawer which I actually just completely cleaned out and threw a ton of stuff away and then in this portion right here are all of my stamping plates. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at those closer in my stamping plate organization video. And this little basket here is full of stampers um, and some stamping kits. And there's more stampers in this little pouch here. So that's all dedicated to stamping plates and stampers. To protect my desk, I decided to go with a plexiglass cover. Um, probably I was looking into getting a piece of glass made, but they thought the hutch would be too heavy to set on the glass and possibly crack it, and I don't want to deal with that. So we went to the hardware store and we got some plexiglass. And my friend Mike cut it down for me, so I was really excited. Well, at first, we were going to we were trying to figure out what to do. You know, I was thinking wood, and then we decided plexiglass. And if you wipe acetone up really quickly, it won't damage the plexiglass. So that's a good thing. Um, here, actually, I just did myself a naked manicure. <laughs> so that's why that's out. Otherwise, these are put back in their place. I've got some cute blingy stampers here and some other little stampers there. I've got some tools here, silicone tools that are blingy that are in a soap dish <laughs> just for looks kind of. I've got a little um, brush, blingy brush right there, nail brush. These I like to leave outside on my desk because whenever I walk past it, I put some nail stuff or hand lotion stuff on my nails. Over here, boring office box um, drawer. My camera usually sets up right here and films down. You might recognize that as the background to my videos. And if I keep my nails right here, it's usually in the center so you guys can see what I'm doing. My, um, my lamp, my gel lamp sits right there. Here I've got some glass containers. Actually, my sister-in-law gave them to me, so I didn't go out and purchase them. That's why they're red. They don't match anything, but I don't care. They were free. So I have all my acetone stuff in there. Acetone and alcohol, a little jar of travel acetone, all that kind of acetone-y stuff. I've got some paper towels back there. I've got my lamp here. Let's see, in this drawer I have my favorite nail file, so it's easy to get to. I've got, these are some swatch sticks from Wave Gel that I had just done. Another background. This needs to be put away, and so does that. And then I've got some of these stickers for marking gels, and then there's some 
Moira foils and some stickers in there. Not a whole lot going on in there. Here I keep some little jars, little acetone jars or alcohol jars, some cut up tin foil, some fake nails for testing stamping on. And there, why is this in here? My chrome powder needs to be put away. Now what's in here? Oh, it's empty, but it's labeled. Probably have to find what goes in there and stick it in there. <laughs> Let's see. Then we'll go over here. Let's see what we got on this side. This is my travel. My little travel, OPI travel. When I go visit my mom, I take along some nail polish to do her nails and my niece's nails. So that's what I put it in. And obviously, I forgot to empty it out after my last trip there. So I've got to do that. I've got another, um, courtesy of my sister-in-law, another vase, and I've got my lint roller in there and some pickup pencils, gem pickup pencils. In here, I've got some stampers, all of my scrapers, and this is just a, um, travel soap dish. And then there's a, another stamper, some more stampers, oh, stampers everywhere, guys. And then in here, I've got some cleanup pens, a cotton cloth, oh, another one of these. Some of these little things, some of this soak off builder gel. That's just sitting in there. This one I keep for um, cotton rounds. Um, Lint-free wipes and an acetone brush. Why is that down there? That belongs up there. And then in here, I keep some more manicure tools, a pair of scissors. Um, this is a Chris. This is a sponge gradient sponge thing in there. And then down here are all of my she modern glitters and pigments. Over here in the corner of my desk, I keep a, um, it is a planner, so I can plan out my videos, and I do do that. I also have a, one of these, which I keep some of my She Modern things in. Uh, let's see, pencil cases that have my dotting tools, because I use these a lot. So I just kind of leave them. Sometimes they're on my desk. Sometimes they're over in where my, um, where my, uh, what do you call those things? Stamping plates go. Sometimes they're in there. And then here's some more She Modern stuff hanging out in here. So those are there. I'll get to this little shelf up here. And... What do I keep on this shelf? Okay, and these boxes are top coats, and I believe they're all regular top coats in here. And then here's a bunch of gel top coats. And what else is in here? It looks like some random stuff is in here too. Huh, look at that. All right, and then I keep cuticle on my cuticle bomb. This is something I have to um, look into using. It's Plastiline from Moira. That's why it's sitting up there. Otherwise, it'll probably have a place soon. Then uh, these are all my nail oils. Along the back are refills for my peel-offs, extra peel-offs, extra base or top coats, whatever. Here's my peel-offs, and here's my wave gel um, top and base coats. Over here is more top and base coats, more wave gel base coats. Um, these are my little false nail holders. And back there is just some false nails that I was practicing on, or just some random ones there to do some practicing on. Here is a whole bunch of stampers, which should not be up here, but I am getting ready to do a review on stampers, so that's why they're there. I've got my Manny Pro drill. 
And then some electronics back there. Old phone, iPod, um, external hard drive, paper, that kind of thing over in there. Nothing nail related. Okay, so I guess that's it. And then we've got my computer monitor there, and my monitor and stuff is all underneath the desk. Now up here, I wanted my friend Mike to build me <laughs> some drawers for my nail polish. So we went to get all of the stuff, and then I found these awesome trays, and we went that route instead. This side is all my wave gels, and it's organized by color. So I got my pinks. Um, this is back here. Oh, there we go. Pinks, oranges, purple. Sometimes they they slide. Um, purples, reds. I don't know what that is. Green, um, glitter, blue, white, bl and black, white, black, and grays. Top coat back there. Browns. I don't know what the heck that is back there. Um, silvers, oh, that's gray. Silvers and golds right in there. <laughs> and then over here, I've got in this one, these are, are made for these cubbies, like right here. Um, like they go in here and a shelf goes in there. I got them at, where did I get those at? Um, Bed Bath and Beyond. That's where I got them at, and they are pretty awesome. I really, I really like them. I thought these would be perfect for my nail polishes, and my friend Mike put in this shelf for me. We do have to trim it just a little bit this summer. We're waiting on uh, some nice warm weather to go out there. So down here are some uh, gel polishes. Usually, there we go. Usually they're easier to get out than that. So we have got my Kira Sky Gels. Um, this is... What is this? Uh, oh, Bio Seaweed Gel. <laughs> Madam Glam, and my Madam Glams. Oops. Okay. So then over here, and, and I might have to... I don't know, reorganize this one a little bit soon because it's getting full. So I've got my OPI gels, which, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm really not even that fond of OPI gel, and I'm probably not ever going to buy any more because I don't like the formula, to tell you the truth. For the price, I'd rather just get wave gel, whatever. And then I've got my, um, sorry about that. That's my like, watch. My daughter keeps texting me. So I got jellies over here. And then I've got Starly. Um, I got my damn nail polish, so I've got my indies in here. Brave Diva polish. It's got three rows. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what's in there. And then these two are all of my stamping polishes. <laughs> I hope that's not going to happen. Hang on. Let me turn it off. Okay, so I had to break it out into two. I had so many stamping polishes. So let's take one of these out and take a closer look at it. Now when I take them out, I always put a hand on the bottom because they're not made of the most greatest wood, I would think. And uh, so I always put my hand on the bottom just to make sure that nothing's going to happen. And I have in here... What this is, is um, this is by Duck. It's a shelf liner, but it's a really awesome shelf liner. And the bottles don't move around. So I can tilt this. Oops. Okay, hold on. Obviously, there's a limit to how much I can tilt it, but I can tilt it pretty good. And the bottles, A, they just don't slide around. So... That's kind of nice. I really like that. And my stamping polishes are grouped by brand. Actually, I have way more Moira, but they're over on the counter right now because I'm getting ready to swatch them. So I've got Moira, I've got some Color Club, and my um, Powder Perfect. And then I've got my Twinkle Tea. 
Um, I've got Hit the Bottle. This is all Hit the Bottle. This is my Braves Diva because I use this a lot. These are the most used ones. That's why they're they're in this one. And then I've got some uh, Dance Legend, which I really like as well. Over here, I've got these storage cubes. So this is all kinds of filming stuff and swatches and, oh, some... Um, some nail practice nail things that I've done with the designs that kind of stuff is in there um there's another lamp paper punch paper punches are in there this is actually electronics <laughs> nothing nail related here is a whole bunch of manicure stuff um you know cuticle remover cotton rounds buffers some well, this is, <laughs> so anything manicure related is in there. Over here are my um, glitters. And a shadow applicator. Down here I have my Del Sol. Um, sun changing nail polishes. There's some Zoya nail polishes down here and some Le Chat nail polishes. So that's what's there. In this one are my, there's some stickers, nail decals, all of my magnet collection, tin foil, um, swatch rings. Uh, some more manicure stuff that didn't fit in there. Oh, my greatest buy ever. Not. It's not even going there. <laughs> and then there's um, some more um, lint-free wipes. And, oh, um, all kinds of oh, extra, extra jars for glitter. And all kinds. Here's a whole big bag of swatch sticks. So that's what's in there. And then over here are fake nails to practice on. Um, a, an apron. Uh, extra lint rollers. Instructions that came with some stuff. A little kiss powder thing. And some extra journals and notebooks. Up on top, I had my friend Mike build me this. So I kind of want it, I think I want it to come down a little bit lower. So it's, you know, kind of like a drawer thing. Um, and this one is some odds and end gel polishes that I actually don't even use. Um, and some on my whole Zoya collection, except for what's in that other bin down there. And uh, some of my indies, like Moonshine Manny, or my um, my nine zero lacquer is in there as well. And then on this side is my mood my mood gels, my mood glow in the dark gels, my glow in the dark gels, and my cat eye gels, all wave gel. And oh, it looks like there is a Cuccio set in there. Cuccio gel set. Which one's this? Oh, this is a black one. A set. Uh, anyway, that's sitting in there. It probably doesn't belong in there. But anyways, it'll probably get kicked out because I've got more gels to go in there. And then I put these little swatch rings on so that I can see. They're all by number. So that if I'm looking at um, a number, a color number, and I want to know if I have it, Rather than look for the color, I'm going to look for it by number. So these are organized by number. And over here is more polish, actually. This one, this basket right here, has my She Modern stuff because I got so much of it. It didn't really fit in that little album anymore. So right now I'm contemplating what to do with it. Um, so, but right now it's in a little basket because I had an extra one. Then here 
I've got some Azure gel polishes, which I had gotten for review right this very second. Okay, I think one of the videos is up, but I think there might be like two more. My camera doesn't want to focus on this. Huh, hold on. There we go. So my Azure polishes. So those are all in here. Then I've got some regular polishes, like my um, Infinite Shine and my OPI. I don't even know what the heck is in here. Oh, maybe China Glaze. So those are just regular polishes that I don't use that much. And what I'm thinking about doing, and if my friend Mike sees this video before I ask him, <laughs> I'm thinking about having another shelf built um, here, like a little half shelf so I could still keep my little teddy bear over there um, to put more baskets on. And then I should have enough room for a while, I think. <laughs> hope so. So that's it for the desk tour um, polish organizing video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.